Stand up. There you go. You were dreaming. What's your name? Well, not even last night's storm could wake you. I heard them say we've reached Morrowind. I'm sure they'll let us go. Get yourself up on deck and let's keep this as civil as possible. This is where they want you. Head down to the dock and I'll show you to the census office. You finally arrived, but our records don't show from where. You'll go no further until you have your papers. Ah, yes, we've been expecting you. Uh, you'll have to be recorded before you're officially released. There are a few ways we can do this, and the choice is yours. Your papers, please. Citizens of Tamriel, welcome back to Morrowind, and we are here on a Morrowind Remastered playthrough. That's right, we are going to be playing through at least the main quest of Morrowind while having all of these fantastic mods installed. Oh, it's gonna be good. It's gonna be good. Anyway, we just got out of the census office and we have received our initial instructions. We have to travel to Balmora and find Caius Corsedes. Now, personally, it's been a long time since I've properly revisited the world of Vardenvel and a lot of things will be different than our last adventure. We are to deliver this package, which appears to be very long and in code, and I have no idea what this says. I'm sure there's some way we could decode it. But first, let's go ahead and begin adventuring through Sedanin, the starting village. If I can help, I will, but don't take too much time. Hello. Who are you, local inhabitant? Are you the one that the boat dropped off? Odd to see a boat arrive at that time of day. Hope the Imperials treated you okay. I swear they took my ring. I swear one of the guards has it. I had it last week before their weekly Let's Shake Down Fargoth ritual. An engraved healing ring. Family heirloom of mine. You haven't seen it, have you? I did in fact find it, yes. Here it is. Take it. You found it! Amazing! Thank you, thank you. You are now my favorite friend. I'll be sure to tell the others, especially my friend Ariel, who runs a trade house here. Go see him. He'll be happy to see you now. So we've given Fargoth our engraved healing ring that we found in uh, just outside the census office. We did receive some starting gold, so going to Ariel's trade house now that uh, we've done his friend a favor should be a good idea to get some initial stuff. This must be Ariel. Hello. Please, feel free. Talk at your leisure. Okay. Welcome to Ariel's trade house. I bought for goods or coin. I also have a small selection of spells for sale. No credit. You want a little advice? That's free. That's all that's free. Would you like to hear about our most popular potions? Our most popular scrolls? I think I should just go barter. I have 87 gold coins. A pair of shoes I can't wear because I am in fact an Argonian. So you can have that pair of shoes for uh, one gold coin. Now, I am a specialist in light armor. How much would it cost to buy one of these? 179. Okay, we can't afford that. How about um, just a little bit, perhaps like a pauldron? <laughs> 50? Okay, let's try get it for 49. Or maybe perhaps I should start by buying a weapon. Do you have a spear? Iron spear. That seems like a decent enough beginning. So let's try get that for... Uh, let's see, we, we can add on a few other things here. Let's get... Uh, I can't wear boots, so how about a chitin left pauldron? Okay, I guess that's, that's gonna be good enough. Let's try get it for 70. Offer. Nope, offer refused. We have no bartering skills. 71 it is. Good. So, let's equip 
Oh, did I not sell my shoes? Equip the pauldron. We'll equip our iron spear. And our adventure begins. <laughs> There's a lot going on around here. Now, Sedanin. Who can forget Sedanin? Hriska Flatfoot. Hello. You're on your honor. Don't press your luck. You look like you could use a friend, Outlander. Perhaps I can be your friend. I'd like you to help me recover some gold. That's right, see, I had a bad run of luck playing nine holes and lost a bit of money. Normally, I'd be fine. We can usually keep some gold in our pockets just from the money the locals pay us for protection. But I know some of them are holding out on me. Especially that little fetcher, Fargoth. He's come up light the past couple of weeks when I've shaken him down. I know he's stashing it somewhere. I'd like you to find Fargoth's hiding place. I know the little fetcher's got one somewhere in town. Just not sure where yet. I've already gone through his whole house, so I know he's not hiding it there. I'd like you to find where he's stashing his gold. If you can. I'll give you a share of the wealth. Are you up for it? Sure, I'll do it. Excellent. Here's what I want you to do. I'm not sure where he goes, but I know he wanders around town at night. Watch his movements. The best vantage point is on top of the lighthouse south of town. That will give you a nice view of all of Sedanin. If you keep an eye out on where he goes, I'm sure you'll be able to figure out where he's hiding, where he's hiding that gold. All right. You know, it's an RPG. We should always talk to the barkeep. Hello? I've seen better clothes on a corpse. Well, I mean, yeah, okay. Alone. Go ahead. You're not interrupting anything. I'm alone. Scout. You need directions? Pelagia, Balmora, Caldera, Ebonheart, Vivek? Well, we're supposed to go to Balmora. Balmora is the district seat of House Lalu and the largest settlement on Vardenfell after Vivek. Okay, we got Elone's directions about Mora. Actually, uh, a thing that we can read? Let's have a look. Elone's directions to Balmora. From Sedanin, leave the village by past the North Bridge, then follow the road east past the Silt Strider port. East of Sedanin, the road heads northeast through, through Seda Outpost and intersects a northwest southeast road. Turn left, northwest, and past the village of Pelagiad on your right. The road continues north and swings northeast until it reaches a four-way intersection. The road to Balmora turns left, northwest, and descends into Foyada Mamaka, a deep volcanic ravine. The road follows the ravine northeast for a short distance, then turns left and climbs out of the ravine to the northwest. North of the ravine, past Fort Moonmoth, on the right, come to an intersection with a signpost. Head due west towards Balmora. Two small bridges cross the Odai River. On the west side of the river, go north, passing the Silt Strider port and entering the walls of Balmora. Mind the signposts and be careful. In bad weather or darkness, it is easy to stray from the road. Thank you, Elone, for the very comprehensive directions. Okay. So, we've got uh, two things to do. We've got to find Fargoth's hiding place. And we've got to uh, get to Balmora. There's a lot going on around in Sedanin. The world has changed since the last we've been here. But there's a few things that I would like to sort of uh, just explore. First of all, I need to make sure that my spear works. So let's go out into the wilderness and uh, find some prey. Just just something to test these on. Not the netches, not those big floating things. <laughs> They're actually pretty powerful. Not, not a level one thing. Now, there should be some creatures skittering about. Perhaps uh, a slaughterfish? Slaughterfish in the water, maybe? I think. Did I see something move in the water? There we go. Come on. Small slaughterfish. Destroyed. <laughs> okay, first enemy felled. Now, there's a lot of things that we should probably be grabbing while we're out here. Ingredients, you know, draggle tail, coat of flower been added to inventory. Very nice. Oh. I'm just gonna 
whack this rat. <laughs> perhaps, uh, perhaps a power attack would have been more appropriate. But we killed a rat. Okay, very good. And if my nose treats me correctly, we found Processus Vitellius. My journal has been updated. 200 gold. Very good. Tax records. Processus Vitellius, Sedanin Census and Excise Office. A real 450 drakes tax, I guess the local business. Look how much tax people are paying. Vidonius Nucius hasn't paid tax. Fargoth, 111 drakes hasn't paid tax. Tut tut tut. <laughs> Let's keep grabbing some stuff, some spore pods. Oh. Ah, this crab got me. Got him. Mud crab. Crab meat? You know what? Let's eat it. <laughs> I don't know if that really does anything. Ooh, some mushrooms over there. Let's go grab those. We should be practicing with our spear as well. Taking some hits will help with... Uh, there's a lot of mushrooms here. Will help practice... Uh, help us get used to the armor we're wearing. We should be able to sell these mushrooms, right? To Ariel? Now that looks ominous. Let's not go there. <laughs> That's, uh... It seems rather dangerous. Don't suppose any more slaughterfish around here wants to get me? There's one, I think. Got one. Wait, what was that? What's that? Come on. I'm just gonna clear this water of the slaughterfish. Oh, this is an actual slaughterfish. It's not a small one. Okay, that's that was pretty dangerous. Look at these guys. Nasty creatures. I see some... This seems to be a nice little safe pool. Let me use our gift. We have the gift of Mara. That will heal us almost completely at this point. Ah, oh, refreshing. Also, we are an amphibian. So let's make sure this water is not an issue. I don't see any more fish. Perhaps we could get something out of that. And what is this? Nimawia Grotto. I'm gonna take a peek inside. It's an underwater... ...location? A place to breathe some air. Okay. What are we dealing with here? What's in this grotto? I've never seen this before. Oh, <laughs> that slaughter fish snuck up on me. There's more underwater pads. Okay, a good tactic with the spear is backing out. And power attacks. Perhaps we could grab anything from those? No, I think they were empty. It's a bit hard to see down here. I am okay with the water, but not so okay with the darkness. Perhaps there's something down this way. Dead adventurer? A wooden staff, an ash mask, some chitin armor, apprentice's probes, a grandmaster's probes. There's some nice stuff here. I'm gonna grab it. An adventurer tried swimming down this way, but did not quite make it. And it seems the cave goes further down. I think I will not push my luck. I've found some fantastic treasure. 
And I don't want to die, so I will make my way back out. If I can only find the exit, I think it's this way. Yes, let's, let's, we found some good uh, treasure. Let's head back out. Back to the bitter coast region. And back to the surface. The Quama Worm. Let's go deal with them. Got him. Quama Forager with some Quama Cuttle. I'll just eat it. Feel a bit peckish. <laughs> okay, we actually got a bunch of stuff here. Netch Leather Shield. I don't think I can use a shield and a spear, but I'll equip it anyway. So I've got some Nordic fur braces. It, it was a dead Nord adventurer. So chitin, I think, is much better. This is, this is a huge boon. I've also got a wooden staff blunt weapon. I'm not too good with those. A Grandmaster probe lock, an apprentice's lockpick. I'm not too sure I'm going to have much use for those. Let's continue familiarizing ourselves with the swamp. I think I see some Hypophysia, Bungler's Bane. Very good. Let's grab those. A few more spore pods. Whoa! Things jump at us through the tall grass. Come on. Got it. Okay. Hard to see things in the tall grass, end up. Oh. I think this is new as well. A dead body next to a worn chest of 19 gold coins. Don't mind if I do. A couple more mushrooms on the log. Okay, good. I probably shouldn't overburden myself with mushrooms and fungus and stuff like that, but I think it's good to keep some of those on hand. And if I recall correctly, down this way, somewhere just about here. <laughs> Apologies, Tar Heel. Uh, <laughs> we knew that was coming. The scroll of Icarian flight. Ah, uh, extravagant shoes, gauntlets, robes. I want to wear a robe and iron longsword. I'll take the sword. Journal of Tar Heel. I believe I may have found the correct formula for the spell I am developing. With it, I will be able to travel great distances without the need to pay others for the service. If all goes well, I will test out the new spell tomorrow. And I believe I have worked out all of the possible complications. It will allow me to leap great distances covering many hundreds of miles. Never before has one been able to travel in this manner. Vaulting from the ground, sailing through the sky, all without that terrible disorientation of a spell of flying. The time is almost upon me. My research is finished and all of my calculations are checked and rechecked. They laughed at me when I suggested this. We'll see who laughs after I leap to the top of their towers and scream out my success. I'm going to take the book because it's actually worth quite a bit. But I think I should now head back to Sedanin. Oh, I see a mud crab. Let's uh, hunt what we see. Oh, we one-shot that one. Very nice. We'll take the crab meat. I see... What is these? What are these things called again? Oh, got it. Swamp scrib with some scrib jelly. Very nice. I will... I don't know if uh, a real buys ingredients. But I'm going to grab one, some of these and see if he does, because I could do with the cash. Or just some bartering goods to, uh... Oh, look at that. A butterfly. I'll leave that one alone. I won't hunt butterflies. <laughs> that seems cruel. Uh, let's head back to Ariel. And see what he buys, because if we could get some... Particularly... A chitin quirus. That will give us a very nice boost. Right now, our armor rating is 4. Not so great. We'll, we'll see if we can get something better. 
Hello, Ariel. Let's go to Bata. Do you buy ingredients? You do. Oh, he does buy ingredients. Okay, I will sell not all of the ingredients I've picked up, but how about scrib jelly? Yes, violet coprinus. I go take that. Um, like, I just want to keep some of everything. Crab meat, we probably don't need those. You can have my shoes again. This Nordic fur cuirass. Um, okay, let's see. I, I probably can equip some of this stuff. Uh, you can have the wooden staff, iron longsword. I am proficient in longswords. Uh, thrust, 6 to 20. The spear does so much better when we manage a thrust. 6 to 20 slash 6 to 18. The iron longsword's actually pretty good. I'll keep that on hand. The Grandmaster's probe costs 100. And the locksmith's apprentice, 25. That's pretty valuable. If I sell the Grandmaster's Probe, I could probably bring things down. I'll keep the lockpick, but not the probe. Um, Journal of Tarheel. You know what? You can have that as well. Uh, let's throw on any spare ingredients. Coda flowers. I don't think I need those. Luminous Rasula. You can keep one of those. I'll keep one of the Violet Coprinus as well. Let's just try to bring this down. Ampule Pod, Nordic Fur Quiris, uh, Nordic Fur Braces, Nordic Fur Boots, Ash Mask. I, you know, I, I just don't want to wear that. That brings the cost way down. So what I do I have right now? I think I have uh, uh, both pauldrons. I've only got a right gauntlet. Do you have a left gauntlet? You do have a left gauntlet, so let's buy that as well. I've equipped this Netch Leather Shield because I may want it anyway. Are there any other pieces that we need? I don't think so. Let's try barter a little bit. Just one. Offer. No. Offer's refused. Okay. Offer. There we go. Thank you and please come again. This should get us pretty decked out with everything. Chitin Quirus. Chitin Gauntlet left. Uh, so we just we don't have a helmet, but we have pauldrons, gauntlets, cuirass, and greaves with a spear. Iron long blade would also be good as well. Which also gives us the use of this shield. So as you can see, we are actually uh, skilled in spear, long blade, and marksman. Uh, light armor block. So we're, we're good with pretty much anything. Now, I think it is time to do what uh, Hriskar asked us to do and spy on Fargoth. That looks like the lighthouse to me. Let's head on over here. Have a quick look around the lighthouse. I don't want to be surprised by anything. Oh, there's a mud crab. We could go for that. Got it. Oh, it was a rock crab. Crab meat all the same. I don't see much else. I could keep harvesting mushrooms, but I think they're really more trouble than they're worth, aren't they? <laughs> they're not worth much. Let's head into the lighthouse and see what we're dealing with. Sedanine Lighthouse. Hello. Thaver Vedrano. You're new to Sedanine, right? I'm Thaver Vedrano. I'm sure you have questions. Go ahead, ask. I have plenty of time. Is there anything uh, you could tell me about? Specific place? A real trade house? Red Lantern? The Census and Excise Office? Latest rumors? There was a celebration. Some advice? Team up with one of the guilds, fighters, mages' guilds? I suppose that's fine. Um, you might have some treasure, but let's 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 not cause trouble too soon. And head up to the top of the lighthouse. Some bread. Well, I am a. I'm new to the land. <laughs> 
The Wraith's Wedding Dowry, value 95. An armored skill increased by one. It's a whole story. But mainly, I think this book is worth selling. Nothing to steal up there. It's a great view of Sedanine. The ship that brought us here is gone. It's tight waters. Good sailing on, on the ship, uh, the ship captain. Here we are at the top of the lighthouse at Sedanine. I guess we just have to wait until nighttime and see what we're dealing with. This tree sort of obscures our view of some portions, but uh, we should be able to see what we're dealing with. Let's just wait until nighttime. Okay, here it is. Pitch black, nighttime. I'm not sure if we're going to see much from up here. We look nice in, in the firelight, though. I'm trying to see if we can even see Fargoth. Oh, is that? No, that's someone else. This tree is definitely in the way. <laughs> I wonder if I uh, rush on down now. Because I see some shapes moving in the through the the foliage. If I rush on down now, we might be able to find something. He skulks about at night. Fargoth. Oh, there he is. That's him sneaking. We're just gonna keep an eye on him. See where he goes. Don't get too close to him. He's skulking at night. We'll skulk at night. Oh, there he is. Look at that. He was doing something in that little pool of water. And off he goes. I think. We have found something of use. A hollow tree stump. No, don't no, I'm I'm just I'm just taking a bath. No, don't don't mind me. It's just I just I just wanna have a look in here. Oh, would you look at that? The engraved healing ring, 300 gold, and a journeyman's lockpick. Take it all. You found something quite nice. Quite a lot of money, actually. That could uh, buy us anything that we're still missing. If I ever find a chitin helm, that would be handy. Or just a better weapon, I think. We'll head up this way. And you know what? I don't think I will go back to Hriskar. Let's talk to Ariel. Is there anything else I want to buy? Uh, because there might be... Let me check weapons. Short bow. We could do with a bow, I guess. A chitin spear. Is that better than... What do we have now? An iron spear? 6 to 20. No. Iron spear is better. Throw, chitin throwing knives. No, I don't think I need that. Any other apparel or... Netch tower shield. That uh, armor eating for what we have now. Netch leather shield. I think the shield we have is fine. Iron helmet. I don't think they have a chitin helmet. Some healing potions might be good. Fortify speed. Any just. I don't need to fortify. Potion of cure blight disease. I guess it could be handy to have some of these on. Common disease, cure poison, restore fatigue, cheap. Could buy some of those. Restore health, cheap. Very good. Restore magicka, cheap. We probably don't need that. And there's a crab pudding. Ooh. Uh, scroll of Onduzi's unhinging. Value 150. 
you know, if I buy one of those, how much is it? 309? Perhaps that's, uh... Wait, I do have a book for sale. The Wraith's Wedding Dowry. That brings things down. Have that crab meat as well. How about a loaf of bread? 262? It costs quite a bit, but having a scroll of Undusi's unhinging might come in very handy. Then some restore fatigue and health potions. Let's do that. Offer. Thank you. A real? Very good. We don't have enough money to give Hriskar anymore, so let's just not. <laughs> uh, I feel like we've we've done some very good work here in Sedanid. I think it's time we move on. Now, according to Elone's instructions, we could walk all the way to Balmora. But I think, um, I think for today, I don't feel like traveling that far at night. I think what I will do is take the, uh, I'll take the silt strike. We make a special trip just for you. Same low price. Oh, how can you say no? <laughs> Darvam Hleran. Thank you for the offer. Let's travel to Balmora. Here we are. Welcome to Balmora. It's a misty morning. <laughs> uh, there's, uh, there's a lot to explore here. There's, there's, there's so much stuff. There's so many places to go. Now, if I check, we did have directions to Caius Corsidis. What does it say here? Directions, uh, follow these directions. Proceed to Balmora in uh, in Vardenfell district. Report a man named Caius Corsetes. He'll be your superior and patron. You'll follow his orders. His residence is not known, but ask at the corner club called South Wall. People there will know where to find Caius Corsetes. When you report to Caius Corsetes, deliver the package of documents to him and wait for further orders. Remember, you owe your life and freedom to the Emperor. Serve him well, and you will be rewarded. Betray him, and you will suffer the fate of all traitors. I have the honor to prepare this at the direction of His Most Sovereign Majesty, the Emperor Uriel Septim. Glabrio Belenius, personal secretary to the Emperor. Okay, so we have to find the South Wall Corner Club. We'll have a quick look around the town. Hello, excuse he me. Unwell, unhealthy. Unwell and unhealthy, am I? I mean, I guess I'm, I've got some injuries on me. Uh, excuse me, who? Um, do you know the South Wall? South Wall is a working class corner club in Balmora, cast of, you know, east of Odai River on the south end of Labor Street, owned by Bacola Clotius, the owner and proprietor of South Wall, a working class corner club, east of the Odai River. So if I check the map, it should be east of this river. The river flowing through Balmora. This purple haze is, uh, it's actually really nice. I like I like how it looks. So this is east of the river, and I guess we just start knocking on doors. Probably not Dura Gra Ball's house. Is there just someone upstairs? Dura will never know. <laughs> That's ah. one ugly outfit. Dude, come on. I've I've upgraded. Talk with you? Something tells me I might regret it. Well, fine, Kalen. South Wall Corner Club. Here it is. <sighs> Sotilde? Hello. Say your piece or stand aside. Look, Sotilde, I'm just looking for Caius Corsetes. 
That old sugar tooth. I'm not sure where he's living now, but ask Bacola Clotius, the owner. He'll know. Well, the owner's probably further in. Bacola Clotius. I really can't help you, stranger. No, you can't. Sugarlips Habasi? No. The barkeep, of course. What stranger? Hello, Bacola. We rent beds? Goods for barter? Before anything, let's do some business. What do you got? Cyrodelic brandy, grief, just lots of alcohol, quama eggs. Nothing I really need, I think. No, I think I'm fine. Meanwhile, how about Caius Corsetes? Old Caius rents a little bed and basket just up the hill on the north edge of town. Go out the front door, not the upper door to the terrace. Then right up the stairs, left at the top of the stairs, and down to the end of the street. Alright, let's head back up. Pretty simple instructions, I think. Ah oh, yes, a best friend. So, out the door. Up the stairs to the right. Down the street. And this, Caius Corsedes' house. Hello. Hello. Where did I put that? Yes, well, Caius Corsedes, hello. What's this about? What? Yes, I'm Caius Corsedes. But what do you mean you were told to report to Caius Corsedes? What are you talking about? So you say your name is Gamerzak, and you've been told to report to me and deliver a package. Perhaps you'll let me look at it? It's that coded message from before? Yes. Yes, very interesting. So it says here, the Emperor wants me to make you a novice of the blades, and that means you'll be following my orders. Are you ready to follow my orders? Uh, sure, yes, I apparently owe my life and freedom to the Emperor. Good. Welcome to the service, novice. Now you belong to the Blades, with the Emperor's eyes and ears in the provinces. You can use my bed if you need to rest, but leave my personal stuff alone unless I say otherwise. If you like, you can improve your modest skills with our Blades trainers now. Or, if you're in a hurry, I can give you orders right away. But don't forget to visit the Blades trainers. How about the Blades trainers? Uh, they offer training, not for free. There's Rithlin. Uh, there's Nine Toes here in Balmora. Um, there's Serene Liorain. Liorian. There's Gildan Shiovar Horsemouth. No, there's Gildan, there's Shova Horsemouth, and Elone. Elone, the scout, can be found at Ariel's trade house in Sedanin. Elone is a member of the Blades. Our journal has been updated with all of these people, and they can all train us in various things. If I save up some money, it might be worth going to some of them and just training up my skills before we do anything too major. Uh, but anyway, Caius Corsedes. How about those orders? First thing, Pilgrim, you're new, and you look it. Here's 200 drakes. Go get yourself a decent weapon or armor or a spell. And second thing, you need a cover identity. Around here, freelance adventurer is a common profession. Sign on with the Fighters Guild or Mages Guild, or Imperial Cult or Imperial Legion. Advance in the ranks, gain skill and experience, or go out on your own, look for freelance work, or trouble. Then, when you're ready, come back and I'll have orders for you. So we're meant to just go and do some questing. 200 gold has been added to your inventory. That sounds pretty good. Caius Cosedes, thank you for the gold. Thank you for the guidance. I think uh, we have some things to do. I think I'd want to... Oh, I just fell down there. I think I'd want to do a few quests for perhaps each of the guilds. The Fighters Guild, the Mages Guild, Imperial Legion, Imperial Cult. There's a lot of things to do. And I think just dipping my toes into all of those will actually 
get us the experience, equipment, and money that we'll need to to progress properly. Oh, Balmora, it's it's wonderful in the morning. But that is for the next chapter. The hero's journey has begun here in Vardenfell, and there's so much more to do. Taken you from the Imperial City's prison. First by carriage and now by boat. To the east, to Morrowind. Fear not, for I am watchful. You have been chosen. Wake up. We're here. Why are you shaking? Are you okay? Wake up. 